Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel DS Tech Mirror. In today's video, I will cover how to debug Power Apps using Monitor. First, I will start with the overview of the Monitor in Power Apps and then we will go with the demo. So, what is Monitor in Power Apps? It is a tool that will allow makers in debugging the Power Apps issues. So, what type of issues it can cover? It can cover all the issues revolving around performance of your app or data source handling, any kind of error in your formula you are facing. So all these kind of uh, errors or all these kind of use cases, this monitoring app will cover. Over here, I have covered all this point. For example, network optimization, which you can consider around performance as well. If there are too many frequent calls, any kind of data source handling, for example, consider caching data using variables to avoid fetching the same data repeatedly. So when I will start with the demo, there you will see uh, whenever you perform any of the action in your power apps, it will record all the actions in sequence and then you can see what kind of data, data it is fetching, whether the call is a success or it is a failure along with the code for each network call. If you want to improve, uh, if you want to do any kind of performance improvement because it will show you how many seconds, it will show in microseconds how many, how much time every action is taking so based on that you can do the performance improvement also so it is one kind of a tool in power apps which everyone should be using so what are the benefits you can expect from a uh, monitor uh, which is an advanced tool that is again uh, the which is again the same diagnostic and troubleshooting and understanding the app behavior so in power apps there are two types of app uh, canvas app and model driven apps it will cover both apps in canvas app you can debug while you are developing the app or if you have any published app in your production environment you can debug that as well because you know that uh, the app production environment is a managed environment we cannot open our app in the edit mode or using power app studio over there so to debug any issue production issue definitely uh, the only go to tool we have is the monitor tool which is inbuilt in our power apps and again for model driven app also makers can use it to monitor page navigation any kind of command execution form related issues and other major actions so in short what a monitor will do it will help you to debug your app understand the app execution it can help you to improve the performance of your app any kind of data source handling any kind of error handling this is the tool which you can use so now what I will do, I will go to my Power Apps and then I will show you how you can use this tool. I am inside my Power Apps environment and I have an app called Helpdesk Ticket. So over here, if I will reload this app, you will see there are certain issues on the load of this app. Also, there is this one button called POC. If I will click on this button, again there is an error. And if I click on this button, login as a Helpdesk user, again there are certain issues in this app. So let's see how I can, uh, you know, how I will see all these issues if I will use the monitor app. Initially, let me show you how you can use this monitor app if you are in, uh, in the development stage or you, if you want to use it in your development environment. So what I will do, I will open it in a new tab. So guys, this is my app in the uh, app studio. Now, if I want to use this monitor tool to debug this app, what I have to do, I have to go to the list. I can go to left navigation. And under advanced tools you will find this monitor and just click on this open monitor it will open a new tab with this monitor tool now what you can do whatever action you will perform over here it will directly reflect over in this monitor tool let me give an example for example if I click on this login as a help desk user so what I will do I will play this app and I will click on this login as a help desk user so immediately we will see all the actions. So it starts from the user action. I will select a button. Let's expand these properties. Then I, in the sequence there is a function which is called for the filter operation which is a success. Again there is a function called, called again there is a function called for sorting. And after that we have some network calls and again some function calls. So this is all the operation which got operated in the background when I clicked on one single button. And over here in the result, you can see certain uh, success and some actions have got some error. For example, if I have to see something over here, uh, there's an error called get lookup result. If I wanted to see what is the error, I can click on it and over here I will see the details. In the details section, 
I will I can see formula data which formula I have used and the data which I am getting from the network. Again, if I wanted to see in more detail, I can click on this formula tab. I will get the exact formula over where and also the control where I am facing this error. Then the request, whatever is you know we are processing and the response which I am getting from the data source. So this is the request. If I go to the request and expand like body is null, whatever the uh, for example, if you see the formula, I am calling a choices function with this help does dot category. Help desk is a uh, SharePoint list and category is a column. So I'm, I've used this column and it is and behind the scene. This is a REST API call using get method. So behind the scene, all this is happening and what I'm getting as a response. If I'll expand this body type, this is an error. The response is not in a JSON format. So now this is giving me an error and I can use this data to fix the error again. If I again proceed uh, further, again there is some error. If I go to some uh, this formula tab, this is choices help dice dot priority. If I go to the response again, the same. So this is some error related to the JSON format. Get row same cannot uh, JSON format. So all these uh, uh, certain errors are present. If I am clicking on a button now, if I wanted to see what is happening when I click on this logout button, so other, another thing which I can do, I can clear the data and I'll go back. I'll click on this button and nothing. There's no error and uh, I can see there's only one action which got performed. If I click formula and which is a navigate action and I've got, I, I'm navigated to the home screen. Another thing which you will, uh, I wanted to cover over here is, I have, this is one button called POC on which I'm calling a power automate row. Now this is, uh, important because if you are in a production environment and if you wanted to see whether your power automate flow is been called or not it would be difficult to see but using this monitor tool you can easily identify for example if i click on it and now i go to this monitor and i could see uh, there are three errors but let's go one by one so if you see the formula over here over here i am calling a power automate flow you could see this dot run okay and let's come to the detail and in detailing part this is the formula data again and the data which we are getting if you go to the formula data there's a formula now if i come to the error part again i know i will directly go to the response tab and i'll try to quickly see the error it's the same thing data is not in the correct format so through this you will get to see whether your flow has ran or not or there is some other error. Now next also I wanted to cover the duration of each action. For example, if you see over here duration is null, all the network operations you could see this is 434, this is in milliseconds. So this can help you to even fix your performance issues. So if for example, if your app is having certain performance error or it has been reported by your business users that uh, app performance has got degraded over a period of time so what you can do you can directly open your app in the monitor and then you can see try to find the root cause of that performance issue using this app for each natural uh, category you will see the duration so we are good over here you can if you want you can uh, filter the category over here because right now this is a very simple app but in real time scenario there would be a lot more data over here and then this would be very helpful to do the filtering you can clear the data you can download this data in a json format invite i will cover over here if you will see the actions again uh, the uh, filtering you can apply and row density the format you can change normal or compact now another thing which i will cover is how you can use this monitor app in your app while it is running into productions for that what i will do for now i will close both these two tabs and now this app is running and let's say we are facing certain issues so what i will do i'll go to my apps i'll go to details and i'll say monitor directly now i have not opened this app in the edit mode now let's say if i perform certain action nothing is getting recorded over here although this is connected to this particular app we can see so how we can do that so instead of doing anything from your uh, app what you have to do i will close it you have to click on this button called play published app 
then it will open this app and now anything you will do over here it can be recorded now you can see this screen load time duration 14 milliseconds you will see the screen load time and this will help you to improve the performance of your app and even the performance on app app on start method so all these things it will record it now for example if i clear this data and again i will call a power automate flow i'll get all the data recorded over here so this is how you can publish your app now there is another use case for example uh, in your production environment only one particular user is facing some issues for other users it is working fine so what you can do you can even invite users in your debugging session so what you can do you can enter certain email address it will uh, okay so what i'll do you can copy a link from here and then you can share this link with that particular user they will open the app and then they can join you in the debugging sessions and that will help you to fix the issue which is uh, rather i would say a very user specific issue and this link will expire in an hour this is another very good functionality of this monitor app so if i have to do a quick review what we have learned today is how you can debug your project using monitor you can use this monitor tool which is present under advanced on the left navigation you for both uh, app development also for your production app it will cover uh, all the categories revolving around the user actions functions network performance if you published i have a certain issue that also can be debugged or that also can be that also can be debugged using this power apps tool you can also invite certain users in the debugging sessions so i would say if you are not using it you should start using it uh, and definitely it will improve your productivity because it will try to it will help you to figure out the issues you are facing in your power apps development so guys so guys that's it for today's video if you like this video please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our upcoming videos till our next video much love keep learning thank you